Okay, so do another update. I didn't think I would do it so soon, but here we go. This is about Last Action Hero Steelbook. First of all, it's not an exclusive, and I didn't I didn't do much research in that area, but I was trying to figure out why Best Buy no longer has it up for pre-order anymore. I can pre-order it on Amazon though, and if you look in the description, it says it's a steelbook. Now that's happened before where steelbooks have been other places, but that's beside the point. Um, why is Best Buy like that? I have no idea. I think Best Buy really is not the place it used to be. Even online now, there's a lot of things for sale that they don't have. And you have to buy on Amazon or eBay or wherever you might have to purchase something. And if they do have something you want, it's a very low quantity of stock. That's why every time, sometimes when a big steel book set comes out, you can't grab it because they have some kind of restriction going on, which is total crap if you ask me. I think there should... I don't know what happened to this. This is kind of sucks because I don't even know how to answer any, any questions that someone might have if they asked me. It seems like every single thing that comes out is random. I don't know where these people are getting their information about when things get delayed and stuff for Blu-rays. Because I go to Blu-ray.com. That is the main, main website of any website ever. And when I go on there, it doesn't give me any information to why something is not coming out when it's supposed to be. And I noticed with Best Buy, um, this this time was kind of funny. Um, let's look at it this way. The reason why I say it's funny this time around is because it gave me a message I don't think I've ever seen on Best Buy before, ever. Usually just things, if they're going to get pushed up, they'll just change the date and that's it. Not with this. Right now it doesn't say anything, which means you can't pre-order it. And when you click it, it um doesn't say anything. It, and another thing I don't like about Best Buy, and it's very heavy with this. And Amazon does it a lot, too. When you're looking at a movie like Last Action Hero, we don't want to see the reviews to the VHS tape or the DVD or the Blu-ray. We want to see the reviews to the next product. So there should be no reviews on the bottom. But when you go and look down, it shows you 100 reviews. So obviously it's letting you see something different. But I don't like that. And these are all from six months ago. And people said this really wasn't that great of a movie. I liked it. I thought it was pretty cool. It wasn't the best movie on the planet. Don't get me wrong. But people always rate movies for what they are, I guess. So, um, all right. Oh. And you know what? Okay. That's just how it is, I guess. I have to make another video now for something else. So I have no idea what's happened with Last Action Hero. Let's just say that um, it's very disappointing because with Last Action Hero, it should be something simple that was released a long time ago. I think because of the pandemic, they decided they wanted to release it in 4K, give everyone you know an extra touch to, to something to watch. This better look pretty damn good. I put a pre-order in through Amazon. Amazon takes a long time sometimes if you're not a Prime member, but I don't really care as long as I get it. I can rely on Amazon. They've never had a screw-up where they've lost my package before. Never. And I've had an account with them since 2008 or 2007. I don't know. Maybe even six. So um, we'll see what happens. All right. Bye-bye.